Ladies and gentlemen, dames y caballeros, oftentimes when people come into money or they start making a lot of money, they feel the need to make it known, to show other people that they're doing well. And they start wearing designer clothes, start driving a nice new car and living in a large house. They display their wealth publicly. And I think that when people do that, it is inevitable that they're gonna run into problems. People are gonna start to look at them differently or their psyche is gonna get messed up. And I think that many wealthy people understand that flaunting your wealth doesn't turn out well. And instead, they're choosing to hide their wealth, to not display their wealth to the public. And this concept is called stealth wealth which is the practice of keeping your wealth hidden from others. Stealth wealth is about not making it known, even to your family and friends, that you have money. It's about keeping your finances private, because when you hide your wealth, you can live the lifestyle you desire without having the celebrity of being wealthy. You avoid all the challenges that come from being publicly known to have money. And in this video, I wanna talk about eight benefits of stealth wealth and why wealthy people are choosing to hide their wealth. Now, the first benefit is people view you as equal. So I wanna start this video off with a quick story about being treated differently. For two years of my life, I was living in a small country in South America called Ecuador, teaching English with the Peace Corps. Now, for those of you who don't know, the Peace Corps is a U.S. government organization with the mission to promote world peace and friendship around the world. It's probably the most intimate experience an individual can have living in a foreign culture in today's world. And the reason for that is because the organization wants you to live at the level of the people you're serving. They believe that the best way to be accepted by a community is to eat the food that they're eating live in the housing they're living in, and making the same money that they're making. Because when you do those things, the community eventually starts to view you as equal. Now, when I first got there, I had a lot of trouble being accepted by the community and by the teachers. And there's one experience that I'll never forget, where I was outside of a classroom talking to one of my counterparts, and I don't remember why, but she asked me how much the Peace Corps was paying me, and I told her that I was making $572 a month which was a comfortable salary to live in in Ecuador for one person. But when I told her that, she was shocked because the average teacher salary in Ecuador at the time was $1,000 a month. She was shocked to learn that I was making less than her. And I think that conversation was a turning point in my relationship with the teachers because I think when I got to the school, they saw me as this guy from a rich country doing easy work and making a large amount of money. But when she learned that I was making less than her, I think that she started to respect me more and she started to view me more as an equal. She realized that I wasn't as different from her than she thought I was. And this was a huge moment in my integration with the culture. And going back to this topic of stealth wealth, some wealthy people choose to not flaunt their wealth because they don't want to be viewed as different from other people. Because if you flaunt your wealth and act like you have all these nice things, eventually people are going to start treating you differently, like how they treated me differently in the beginning in my time in Ecuador. Now the second benefit is staying relatable. When you look at a guy like Jeff Bezos, who has a net worth of $170 billion, he has a lifestyle that many people envy because he has yachts, mansions around the world, and private jets. He lives a lifestyle where he flaunts his wealth. And often when we look at someone with that level of wealth and luxury, we think that they could only be happy. However, I think the reality of that lifestyle is that it's actually extremely lonely. Because when you put Jeff Bezos' lifestyle alongside the average person's lifestyle, they have nothing in common. They can't relate about anything, but the average person has their neighbors, friends, and families with similar lifestyles whom they can relate to. However, Jeff Bezos basically has nobody with a similar lifestyle to relate to. 
His lifestyle is so different from ours that we have nothing to relate about. And that must be an extremely lonely feeling, knowing that no one can relate to your lifestyle. And I think that wealthy people choose to hide their wealth because they want to remain relatable. They want to be part of the everyday human experience. They don't want to be seen as this rich person that has everything and couldn't possibly have any problems. Now, the third benefit of stealth wealth is to not be viewed as the local ATM. When people play the lottery and talk about what they do with the money if they won, oftentimes people say, I'd help out my family and friends. And as nice and selfless as that sounds, I actually think that's a really bad decision that comes with many consequences. Because say you win the lottery and come into a lot of money, and then you decide to buy your family members cars, you're gonna get the feeling that you helped them. However, what often happens next is that when these people you helped are struggling and they need some money, they're gonna go back to you and ask for some money. And eventually, they could develop this dependency on you giving them money. They could have this expectation that because you have a lot of money, they're entitled to your help and start to view you as a local ATM which could start to destroy your relationship with people. Money is a complicated thing. And many wealthy people hide their wealth because they don't want to destroy their relationships. They choose to keep their wealth to themselves so they can protect the relationships that they have. Now, the fourth benefit is to have more safety. When I think about the opposite of stealth wealth, I think about a person like Kim Kardashian, who wears expensive jewelry, has designer clothes, and shows off her extravagant life on social media. She's not shy to show people that she has a lot of money. However, choosing to show your wealth to other people can be a very dangerous thing. I mean, a couple years ago, Kim Kardashian was held at gunpoint in her Paris hotel and was robbed of $10 million worth of jewelry. Violence is never justified, and regardless of who someone is, it's never justified to hurt them. But when you scream on top of a mountain, look at me and my stuff, I'm rich, some people are going to take advantage of that. Someone could hurt you for their own personal gain, and many wealthy people choose to hide their wealth because they don't want people to know that they have a lot of money because it could compromise their safety. They don't want a target on their back. Now the next benefit is to protect your kid's psyche. Right now, I'm reading this book, David and Goliath by Malcolm Gladwell. And in the book, he talks about how if you have too much of an advantage in life, it can eventually turn into a disadvantage. And an interesting example that he gives is parenting and money. He talks about how if you are poor and have very little money, parenting is very hard. But having more money can make it less difficult. However, eventually you can have too much money that it becomes a disadvantage and parenting becomes harder again. I am not a parent, and I don't think I can speak on behalf of parents, but what I have observed in my life is that kids from working class families learn the value of money by seeing their parents struggle, build character by starting a job at the bottom, and understand consequences as resources are limited. Their conditions force them to learn these things, whereas kids from rich families never see struggle, don't need to work as they get money from their parents, and are always bailed out by their parents. They're not forced to learn these important life lessons. And what I have noticed is that because they don't learn these lessons, they often don't have the ambition to get a job, get into drugs, and have a sense of entitlement to the world. And these things could happen to kids of any economic class. But I've noticed that kids that come from very high economic classes often run into more problems than kids of working class families because they're not forced to learn certain lessons in life. And many parents who have a lot of money choose to hide it even from their own kids because they know that having too much money can harm the psyche of their own child. Now the sixth benefit is to not be trapped in a bubble. I was listening to this interesting podcast the other day that was talking about how when you have two ecosystems, like the mountains and the rainforest, the place where these two ecosystems meet is called the ecotone. It's the transition zone. It's this point where you're not fully in the mountains, nor fully in the rainforest, but you're at this point where these two ecosystems meet. And ecotones have the biggest diversity of organisms between the ecosystems. 
when these two ecosystems come together, it creates a lot of diversity and a lot of life, which benefits both ecosystems. And in my opinion, this is a great reference for the human experience, because oftentimes we can segregate ourselves, where lower economic classes live in one area and higher economic classes live in another area. Which is a shame because when people don't mix, everybody ends up thinking the exact same. But when these two groups come together, like an echo town, you have diversity in thought, diversity in opinion, and diversity in life experience. When people of different backgrounds come together, it creates a much richer human experience. And some wealthy people choose to not flaunt their wealth because they don't want to live in this bubble where everybody thinks the same, but they want to live in the echo tone where there's more diversity in life. And embracing diversity isn't always the easiest route, but it ultimately creates the richest human experience. Now the seventh benefit is to have less stress. Let's say you have all the money in the world and you choose to live a life of luxury and flaunt your wealth and buy anything your heart desires. Although you don't have to stress about money, you still have a lot of stress that comes with these things. You have the stress of taking care of these things, the possibility that they'll get damaged and the responsibility of ownership. Having nice things comes with a lot of stress. I mean, if you have a Lamborghini and you took it to the grocery store, you're gonna worry about somebody putting a dent in it. And many wealthy people choose not to get these luxurious things, not because they can't afford them, but because they don't want the stress that comes with them. They'd rather just have a beat up Honda where they don't care if it gets a dent in it because it's not that nice anyways. Now the final benefit of stealth wealth is to focus on the things that matter. I think that what often happens when people have a lot of money and they choose to spend it on a bunch of nice things is they ultimately come to the realization that none of this stuff matters. They come to realize that the important things in life aren't a big house or a nice watch, but the important things are the most simple things like family, experiences with others, and personal development. And not to sound too opinionated, but I think that people who choose not to flaunt their wealth and live a very modest lifestyle are ultimately happier because they're viewed as equal. They can relate to other people. They maintain relationships. They feel safer. Their kids are better off. They experience diversity and they're not as stressed out. They understand that this materialistic Kim Kardashian portrayal of what it means to be wealthy is just complete bullshit. It's just a distraction from what truly matters in life. And so they choose to hide their wealth from other people and just blend in with the crowd. And with that, muchas gracias, que tengan buen día, nos vemos chicos.